Hello everyone. The school children were queuing up for lunch one day and at the beginning of the serving counter there was a large pile of free apples with a sign in large print. Take only one apple please. God is watching you. At the other end of the counter was a pile of chocolate biscuits with a sign cleverly posted by one of the children. Take all the biscuits you want. God is down at the other end watching the apples. Well, we know Jesus, who is God, is present everywhere, no matter what end of the counter we're at. Or as little 60-year-old Martha said, inside the church, Jesus is present in a special way in the tabernacle, but outside the church, he's only present everywhere. But we believe that after the consecration of the Mass, he is present with us in a very unique way under the appearance of bread and wine. Jesus said to the Apostles in the Gospel, I call you friends. Now our friendship with Jesus presupposes that we are also friendly with each other. We are all brothers and sisters in the Lord. If we fall out, we try and make friends again. That is why we shake hands with each other before we receive Jesus in Holy Communion, but we don't see ourselves as an elite group closed off to others. As Christians, we've got a job to spread God's love to everyone we meet, whether they go to church or not, or whether they're part of our circle or not. Nobody likes to be excluded, and God doesn't exclude anybody. On one occasion, the apostles were trying to keep the little children from seeing Jesus and he didn't like it one little bit. So he said, let the little children come to me and do not stop them because they are special friends of mine. Today, you show you want to be, continue to be his closest friend by receiving him in Holy Communion. And as you carry on coming to Mass, May you grow to be more like him on earth, so as to share his glory in heaven. Thank you for listening, and God bless you all. Oh.